And this is exactly why I canceled my ESPN subscription. I haven't had ESPN for quite some time now. And this is exactly why we finna talk about it right now. In case you didn't know, an ESPN reporter slash journalist, whatever you want to call it, has basically exposed that they have been told not to speak on Dana White's situation. Or at least not to make any inflammatory comics or don't pour gasoline on the fire. Basically, in a nutshell, don't say anything. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a guy that works for them. Who's telling us what they have been instructed not to do. Isn't that funny? Because you just had Mike Coppinger going all out on Javante Tank Davis. Now, hold up for a second. How can you have Mike Coppinger going all out on Javante Tank Davis? You got Chris Mannix over here talking about, hey, man, this is a serious situation. We need to talk about this. Enough is enough. Something needs to be done. But yet ESPN took the time to tell their employees not to say anything bad about Dana White. Let me ask you a question. Why? What is it about Dana White that he deserves more protection than Javante Tank Davis? How come y'all let it hang on Javante, but you're telling everybody, hey, 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 don't, hey, hey, don't write nothing about Dana. Don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't say nothing about Dana. What do you think it is? See, now let me pause for a second because if some Americans they have a hard time hearing that this actually exists. If some Americans, well, it just doesn't register for you or you don't know what people are talking about when they use the word white privilege. Now, trust me, I get it. The average working guy, he don't understand that. He said, hey, man, I get up, I bust my ass every day. You, you know what I'm saying? I work long hours. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I put a lot of time and effort into my business. Ain't nothing given over here. There's nothing privileged. That's because you are not aware of your privileges because you don't have to go through. You can't recognize something that you don't go through. So allow me to point it out to you. When people say white privilege, this is what they're talking about. And look, it's so obvious now. None of us can turn our heads. You know what I'm saying? It's so thick in the air and obvious of the conversation that they're not having. How could we ignore the fact that we're noticing that everybody is very light on the Dana White situation. It's so obvious. You know what I'm saying? And being that they just put their whole foot or tried to put their whole foot in Javante Davis' tank ass, it looks real funny to not only speak about Dana White and, and all that stuff, but to also, on top of that, to be told not to say nothing on top of you are ESPN and every and everybody called ESPN the new HBO because they carrying on the same antics that got HBO canceled, making everything pro European or pro white and being anti black. That's how HBO got shut down. And all ESPN did is pick up the mantle. And this is it. It's to the point now, all you people out there who like to say, Oh, race and boxing doesn't exist. Please don't bring up race. Now we're at the point nobody can say that it's not true. And this is why I said, and I keep saying again, I said you can't have a true, honest conversation about boxing until you bring up race. How many videos have you heard me say that? How, how, and, and listen, and just as many times as I say it, as many times people say, oh, don't bring it up. Oh, <laughs> please, Bruce, don't go there. I was just loving your channel. This is, well, how come you start to stop to like my channel once I talk about this issue? Because I talk about anything and all things. But most of all, I, I give a truthful perspective. I'm, I'm real on this shit. And I don't ignore nothing. But, you know what I'm saying, that's neither here nor there. Let's get back. To the fact that you have been told by somebody who works at ESPN that they have been told not to even speak about Dana White. And these are for all the people who still want to be on the fence with you. Then I'm going to ask you, tell me why were they told that? Is Dana White secretly the boss over there at ESPN? Does he have stock in ESPN? Why are they told 
not to touch. All right, that's cool. If, if they're telling you not to speak on or really touch on Dana White's situation, that's fine. The only thing I want to know is why were you told that? And how come you wasn't told that when it came to Tank? Can you lay down and tell us what exactly what a Pacifics was for you to tell your employees not to speak on Dana White, but OK and gave a green light for Javante Tank Davis? Let us know what those things is so we can make sure that everybody qualifies up under the Dana White protection law. Let us know. Let us know what those things was. Let us know what led to you making that decision. We're never going to know. And they're not going to tell us. You know why they're going to, you know, you know why they're not going to tell you? Because they can't tell you the real reason why they do what they do. But they are setting a, an example by their actions. See, and that's another way that this world works. It's to tell you one thing, but to teach you another thing through action. You know, uh, the American dream, you know, let's all get along. We're all free. We're all this. We're all that. But yet you're forced to to inject yourself with stuff and put stuff in your body if you still want to work and do stuff like that. So you're really not that free. So America is about saying one thing. But demonstrating another and teaching you through demonstration and they're teaching you what they're about. Now, when you look at the uh, uh, the, the, the the ESPN pound for pound list and Vasily Lomachenko was above. Terrence Bud Crawford and everybody else when he wasn't supposed to. Now, now you see why. Now you understand why he was pound for pound number one for four years. You, you know what I'm saying? He's pound for pound number one for four years, but they're struggling to keep Bud at number one just for a year. This is why they list look the way that they do. This is why they reporters like Mike Coppinger and them. This is why they talk the way that they do. This is why they did what they did to Javante, because at the end of the day, and you would think we'll get past this, but we will never get past this point. OK, because at the end of the day, the everything they do is based off of somebody's skin color. How you still reaching in your pocket and giving ESPN, especially if you a melanated human being. OK, how you still reach in your pocket and give ESPN some money is beyond me. I don't care if you like boxing. I like boxing, too. Hell. Terrence Crawford, one of my favorite fighters is, you know what I'm saying, linked with them. You know, and even though it was, I still didn't give them a dime. So like I said, how you guys can keep doing that, especially after a person comes out and shows you this. There ain't nothing to be said no more. Can't Listen, shut that shit up about ain't, ain't there ain't no race and box. Shut it up. Shut it up. Because we are now officially past that point. Can't nobody turn their lips and say that shit no more. You can't. You can't. If you don't want to hear about it in boxing, then stand with people to get the shit out of boxing. If you're not doing that, please shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear one of people telling, I ain't y'all want to hear, but you won't stand up to eradicate it. Amazing, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.